And now the latest from the deadly school shooting. The success student activist from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School achieved on gun control in the legislature last week is nowhere near the end. They've released details about another big call to action this week, a nationwide school walkout planned for tomorrow. CBS 4's Rio Creighton is live in Parkland with those details. Rio. Good morning, Lauren and Bianca. Hundreds of thousands of students across the country are expected to walk out of class tomorrow to mark the one month anniversary of the school shootings here in Parkland. Meantime, South Florida superintendents are embracing the walkout, saying it could be a teachable moment. Organizers held a video conference Monday evening. Students across the nation planning to walk out of class Wednesday to mark the one month anniversary of the attack at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. I feel like all this legislation is being passed. And not one time has somebody stepped into Miami Edison and said, what can we do for you guys? The participants from Chicago, Philadelphia, New York, Denver, and on and on, all hoping to push back against guns and the effort to put more guns in the classroom. It just sounds like making our schools into prisons, which they already are. Last week, Florida passed laws allowing school districts to arm school staff. While most school boards, including Miami-Dade and Broward, are not interested, the measure is now in a federal proposal put out by President Trump Monday. The plan calls for rigorous firearm training for some teachers, Congress to provide legislation to make background checks more effective, and more mental health resources. The president pulling back on previous comments about raising the minimum age nationwide nationwide from 18 to 21 to buy an assault rifle. It doesn't make sense that I have to wait till I'm 21 to get a handgun, but I can get this weapon at 18. I don't know. The president's proposal will likely be in the crosshairs of national walkouts Wednesday. Stoneman Douglas survivors continue to raise their voices. Over the weekend, several sharing their first-hand accounts of what happened on social media. The teenagers writing the graphic details of what they witnessed. One even taking on law enforcement for taking 11 minutes before entering the school, saying, quote, while Officer Peterson kept 500 feet of distance and told others to do the same, this was my experience as a senior on the first floor of the 1200 building that day. Thank you for absolutely nothing. Broward Superintendent Robert Runcie is hoping the walkouts can be positive. Monday, he sent students home with a letter advising them that staff will not interfere with peaceful student-led protests or gatherings at schools. Yeah, and Runcie indeed uh, telling his staff not to interfere with the walkouts. Meantime, we could see more, and they expect to see more walkouts in the coming weeks. We're live in Parkland, Riel Creighton, CBS4 this morning.